morning, my friends. Fast and Furious stayed up all night, or almost most of it, looking at the, at the the results coming in from the U.S. elections. Funny thing being said today that both Bihar and U.S. elections being for up, uh, counting on uh, elections at the same time, but more chances that the Bihar elections will be accepted without any violence and not so great in looking in in, in the United States. But hey. My syphologist career, uh, career, which I thought had crashed and burned yesterday, in both cases, that uh, runaway win for uh, Biden and uh, uh, and uh, was gone down the tube. But at least half of it is true. It looks like Biden might win. But let's more tomorrow on that. But here, here's what we go as we left off yesterday night. The le uh, that leaves five states for up for grabs: Nevada, Arizona, Georgia, North Carolina, Carolina, and Pennsylvania. For Mr. Trump, there is no getting around the simple mathematical fact: to win, he must nab Pennsylvania. But the state alone isn't enough. To reach 270, Mr. Trump must pick up Georgia and two additional states. So a Trump win looks something like this. PA plus Georgia, two of Arizona, Nevada, and North Carolina. For Mr. Biden, math is much easier. He just needs 17 more electoral votes. So if he wins Pennsylvania, that's the race is over. He can also reach the winning two of if by winning two of the other states. A Biden win looks of one of these scenarios, just PA or two of Arizona, Nevada, North Carolina, and Georgia. And today I can call, I can tell you, Pennsylvania, Georgia are looking very good for him. Now there's one other possibility. Frankly, I hesitate to even mention it because it's a very unlikely, but also very likely to make you reach for another glass of wine. It's called the super over. Let's call it the OMG scenario. If Mr. Trump wins Pennsylvania, Nevada, or Arizona, and North Carolina, and Mr. Biden takes Georgia, we have a tie. Yes. 269 folks, 269 all. Man, that's crazy. Here's a big news. Beijing orders Ma to attend talks ahead of 37 billion ant IPO. Derailing of ant IPO shows Xi Jinping in charge. He's very clear about that. At a conference on Shanghai, October 24th, Ma blamed global regulators for focusing too much on risk and criticized China's own measure for stif stifling innovation. The remarks came after VP Wang Qishan, a Xi confidant, called for a balance between financial in innovation and strong regulations to prevent financial risk. It appeared that in intentionally or not, Ma was openly defying and criticizing the Chinese government's approach to financial regulation. Andrew Baston, China's researcher, directed gave call research, wrote in a note. For global investors, however, the episode is likely to reinforce the notion that the party calls all the shots when it comes to major business decisions and any opening measures will be carefully calibrated for the impact on the Communist Party. Welcome to the game, JP Demon, JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs. About time, folks. They've been taught a lesson smacked on the face by Xi. Actually, it's these guys. Important. Don't silence cricket, uh, critics. Just as no one is above the law, exercise the law with circumspection, reason, and justice, folks. This is about catching Arnab Goswami, but here I'd like to make a caveat. This is open defiance, so we can all say, you know, the, the, the strong arms of the state should not be misused. But when they're used insidiously, whether it's with the income tax office, whether it's the in enforcement directorate, and all those kind of uh, invasions of, of invasions into these offices that's, that have been happening with almost every channel that you uh, that has been against this particular government. That is equally bad if you're if, if people are shouting and screaming about Arnab Goswami. I'm 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 quite sure that they should also be fair and talk about that too. And what is happening here? We talk about. Agriculture, Haryana farmer block highway. Today, Amrinda protests step motherly treatment government says did not do hunt. Here, the blocking of the trains with by Piyush Goyal actually absolutely shows with no coal going into Punjab that this is a hostage situation and Mr. Goyal must reverse that at the earliest. Cheers, folks.